Yo, what's good, everybody? It's the Storm Podcast. I'm your secret Santa Malcolm, and I'm here with... It's your boy E, man, you know. What's good, what's good? Uh, we do not have C2 today. We are doing another Podsmas video. Can't lie. Podsmas is a lot of fucking videos. I have done so much editing. It has been crazy, but it's actually been really fun. I think the listeners are really enjoying it. Uh, I'm really enjoying it, even though it's a lot of editing and shooting, but it's fun, so I'm, I'm cool with it. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. I ain't got no problems with it. Yeah, it would be if it was ass, that's a little bit different than that would suck, but it's actually cool. I mean, we get to talk about a lot more topics, um, get to interact with the listeners a lot more. Um, and since I just switched editing uh stuff, it's giving me more editing practice, which works well. So yeah, no, nah, it's been it's been really cool. It's been cool. Yeah, that's what's up. But as you guys saw from today's thumbnail, today we are going to be talking about the best Christmas movies of all time. And before we get into that, I think that a distinction needs to be made. Because I have a couple questions, and I know some of y'all are going to disagree with me. I don't know if you're going to disagree with me or not. Home Alone. Mm -hmm. Is Home Alone a Christmas movie? Why or why not? Yes. Why is Home Alone a Christmas movie? Because it that in their time, it takes place around Christmas time. So I would say that it's it, it revolves around Christmas to an extent. See? It, it's heavily, not heavily, it impacts the story, Christmas. And that is my problem that a lot of people have. Just because a movie takes place around Christmas doesn't make it a Christmas movie. But the fact that it's Christmas is the reason why the parents are gone, so it impacts the story. Sure, it's the reason why, but that doesn't change anything else. This same thing could have happened on Thanksgiving. Yeah, but it happened on Christmas. See, I think there's a difference between a Christmas movie and a movie that takes place during Christmas, like Iron Man 3. Iron Man 3 isn't a Christmas movie. No, but why is that not a Christmas movie? Home Alone, but Home Alone is. Home Alone has clear like festivities in it. Like so the, does Iron Man three. But not. It's not like no. It's not as clear. I would. I would count Home Alone as a holiday movie. See, I just don't think it is. I think a Christmas movie has to be about Christmas or have themes heavily surrounding Christmas. When we look at like Polar Express or Elf. Or whatever Christmas movie or The Grinch. Those are movies about Christmas and they have to do with Christmas. They don't just happen to take place during Christmas. But if it's a staple of like the holiday season, then like I, I can't argue with that. Every Everybody be watching Home Alone. They got too many movies, but everybody be watching Home Alone on the that's holidays not good enough. That's because not good enough. it's a holiday movie. That's not good enough. That's that's perfectly fine. Yeah, no, that's not good that's, enough. It has to. Fine. Malcolm's definition is in order for it to be a Christmas movie, it has to have Christmassy themes. If there aren't Chris, strong Christmassy themes, then no, it's not a Christmas movie. I can I could understand that, but if it's if it's lasted the test of time of this long, then I bro, you got it. But that's not lasting. It's a good movie. It's just a good movie. Yeah, but it's known as a Christmas movie. So if it's been known as a Christmas movie for this long of a time, then you got it. They thought the Earth was flat for mad long. That don't just mean it's flat. No. Well, that's different. That's subject. This is subjective. I don't think so. Well, yeah, you could you could call just about anything around the holiday times a holiday movie. This is this is subjectively a holiday movie. Yeah, I don't know if I can let that one rock. This, this is definitely so. Subjective. Is Monster House a Halloween movie? S uh, uh, did that? Oh, Halloween. Yes. Yeah, no, it, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was that was a terrible example yeah. because like that is definitely a Halloween movie. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that was a bad pick. Yeah, <laughs> like that. I, I would only really watch that around the holiday time i mean i don't really watch it but that's the only time i would watch it normally yeah all right that was that was okay iron man 3 the best i got off the top of my head iron man 3 is not a christmas movie even though it takes place during christmas that's all i gotta say uh i mean it it takes place around christmas time it, it like only the end part is on christmas okay so it's not it's not like a christmas movie is hawkeye a christmas show it has Christmassy themes, but it's I wouldn't it call it a Christmas show. It does not have Christmassy themes. Not themes, not themes, not themes. It, it the Christmas time, like the holiday season, impacts the story. Is Paul Blart a per, is Paul Blart Mall Cop a Christmas movie? I haven't watched it in a long time, but I would say no. 
Same thing. I don't... Re- I, from what I remember, the fact that it was around the holidays had no impact on the story at all, so I would say... It had, it had a little bit of impact on the story, just about as much as Home Alone did. Oh, okay. Well, I don't really remember Paul Blart like that. I think that in Home Alone, the fact that it's Christmas, the reason them them being gone... The reason he is home alone is Christmas. So, I mean, I, I got to call it a Christmas movie. Yeah, I think I'll pass on that. But let me hear your top three. Or let's say your... Yeah, let's go with your top three Christmas movies. Okay, well, I guess for a number... I guess I'll start at the bottom. Mm-hmm. Number three, I think... You know... I'm going to just go ahead and start off with number one. No. What? That's the, that's how you do a list. So, what? we going to go from bottom to top? That, that's how you do a list. Okay. Okay. Well, then number three, I got to go with, like, The Grinch. Just something you can okay. you know, watch at any time. All right. I'll let it's you always get good. And I'm talking about Jim Carrey's Grinch, not the not the cartoon version. And that's where you lost me. You watch the, the cartoon version? The cartoon version slaps. The I, cartoon version slabs. I think I've only watched it once, and I don't remember. Like, nah, you're tweaking. Enjo- it's not iconic. I think it is. I, not as iconic as the Jim Carrey version. I don't even. I don't even care that much about Jim Carrey. I don't think that it's like a flawless movie, but it's just iconic to the point where why would I watch any other version of The Grinch? I feel like during Christmas season they play the cartoon version more. I've watched the cartoon version more times than I've watched the Jim Carrey version and I ain't never turned it on. You just turn on the TV and boom, The Grinch is on. Nah, if I turn on the TV, it's going to be the Jim Carrey version of The Grinch. I have only... I don't even know if I've finished it, but I've only seen the animated Grinch once. Oh, you're super bugging. And if I turn it on and it's The Grinch, it's the Jim Carrey Grinch. Yeah, you're super bugging, but I right, I'll let you get it off. That's definitely like the Jim Carrey Grinch. Ah, right, you're bugging, like, but almost positive. But uh, I, I I like the cartoon version more. Also, I mean, I I would have to check out the the cartoon version because I don't think I've ever actually finished it. I've turned it on, seen it like halfway through, watched it. It wasn't terrible, and then turned it off. But I have no reason to watch it all the way through either. Cartoon version feels more Christmassy to me. But anyway. Mm, nah, Christmas about, is about nostalgia and, and the Jim that's, Carrey. The cartoon one is more nostalgic. Oh, you're talking about the, oh, okay. What are you talking about? I thought about? you were talking about like the, you know, like the animated one. That's what I'm talking about. Like the drawn one? Yeah. I'm talking about like the one that looks like new age animated. That's mm-hmm. what I thought you were talking about. New Age Animated. Yeah, like, you know, he's like 3D. He, you know. Uh, I didn't even know they remade it. It might be called How the Grinch. No, I think it's called The Grinch. And the original might be called How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Oh, no. Yeah, that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that, I know what you're talking about now. Yeah, the the flat one, the 2D one. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking I, about? Yeah, I know what you're talking about now. Yeah. I would still put... I would still put the Jim Carrey version as a little bit more iconic than that. I'm going to disagree, but okay. I feel like the 2D version has been out since maybe like the 80s, 90s, and it's the Jim been, Carrey one came out in like, what, 2005? It's been out, but it, it ain't as iconic. Hold like, on, when you think of The out. Grinch, you think of the Jim Carrey version of The Grinch. I disagree. What? I highly disagree. Nah, nah, nah. Because nobody's reading the book. Nobody was reading the... Well, I mean, they definitely yes. did. Yes, what are we yeah. talking about? No, they definitely did, but... Oh, yeah, there is a new version that came out in 2018. Yeah. And then there's the Jim Carrey version that came out in two, uh, 2000. And then there's the other version that came out... Um, Let's see, what year is it? Oh, what the fuck? I clicked something and everything changed. No Danny Phantom. Guess. Um... 1966. So this one been rocking since 66, and you going to say that's not nostalgic? Yeah. I mean, it definitely is, but it's not the first Grinch movie that comes to mind when I think of the Grinch. When I think of the Grinch movie, I think of the 
Jim Carrey version. Okay, I'll let you rock. Like the six o'clock one with my self loathing, you know, like all that. Yeah. yeah. You think of you think of Jim Carrey when you think of the Grinch. Okay, I'll let you get that off. I'll yeah. let you get that but off. But I'm not I ain't hating on the on the the OG Dr. Seuss cartoon version. Yeah, still that's gas. Slide. That's still slide. gas. Okay, what's your number two spot? <clears throat> number two spot? That's where it gets difficult because I don't really I feel like I didn't watch Christmas movies mm-hmm. all that much. Are yeah, you sleep? There's some heaters out there. There's some heaters in these streets. Like, I don't... And it's the fact that I haven't watched them in so long. Mm-hmm. Like, I definitely watched, like, Elf. I don't really know if I liked it, though, because I watched it so long ago. I'm going to give it a stack with you. And I know y'all are going to kill me for this, listeners. I think Elf is so overrated. I don't think I find... I forgot his name. Will Ferrell. I don't think I find him funny. I think that's my I main I don't think thing. Will Ferrell is that funny. In my opinion... Will Ferrell is only funny to white people. That's that's all I'm saying. Yeah, I'm not saying he's never funny. He has some good moments, but overall, he's funny to white people. I feel like that's a fair observation. I don't think I've ever watched a Will Ferrell movie. There's probably been moments in a Will Ferrell movie that I might yeah. have like giggled, but yeah. I, I don't think that he is a funny person. Yeah, agreed. so I don't think I could put Elf in my number two spot. But I'm still just like blanking on. Christmas movies for some reason. I mean, if I turn on the TV, you're gonna see the SpongeBob Christmas. But that's that's the movie. The, nah, that's the movie, a heater. The movie is good, but they got so many good Christmas episodes that it make me feel like it's lacking. But the SpongeBob movie is probably I, I think I could give that number two. What well, how what what Christmas episode is better than the movie? Uh I don't think Christmas there is one. feels like that's the, the very movie. first. That's the oh, that is a full movie. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's a movie. It's, that it's is not a just movie. an episode. Yeah, I was thinking about like the 3D one. Not the 3D one, but like the claymation one. Don't nobody care about that shit. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad. I say that. It's all right. Okay. But I'm whatever. also blanking on holiday movies. Uh, So after that, I'll give that number two. The SpongeBob one is hitting though. I Even though lie. there's probably a lot more. I'm definitely just blanking on it. And then... The number one spot, which is probably in my top ten movies of all time, Rise of the Guardians. Got to give it to the Rise of the Guardians. <laughs> it's gas, bro. Rise of the Guardians is gas. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let top me, ten movies of all time. Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. If you try to tell me you don't hold on, hold Rise on, of the Guardians. On. Not only is Rise of the Guardians your favorite Christmas movie of all time. Yes. It's in your top ten favorite movies of all time top 10 might be stretching out i don't know it might be in the top 10 but yeah bro that's 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 up there that is the craziest shit i have ever heard i'm i am almost sure to watch that like every year every year it's gas it's too heat all the characters slap the story slap you could watch that as a kid you could watch that as an adult it's gas it's a gas movie. I'm at a loss for words. I, I cannot believe that that is your favorite Christmas movie of all time and in your top 10 favorite movies of all time. That's where I'm getting lost. Okay. Now that I'm thinking about it, top 10 favorite movies is kind of wild. For Rise of the Guardians? <laughs> that is kind of wild. Hold on. Let me make sure but I'm looking at the right thing. It's up, it's up there. It's up there. Ain't no way. It, it might not be top ten, but it's definitely on the higher end of quality movies. That's that's a good that's a good movie right there. I'm not gonna lie, it's ridiculous. Nah, that's a good movie right there. It's it's not that it's good, a great bro. Movie. It's not that good. All the I've characters. I've seen it maybe twice. That shit does not hit, bro. It, I'm not saying it. it's ass. I've seen it infinite times. It's a good movie, man. I'm honestly just so shocked. I at could that. watch that in a year. Yes, any time of the year, I could watch that. I'm I'm so shocked. I'm so shocked. Nah, bro, you Rise heat. of the Guardians. Heat. Absolute heat. Uh, Santa, that nigga. Jack Frost was the GOAT. Sandman, the GOAT. All the characters slap. I, I'm looking. Yeah, I mean, I, I clicked it and it looks like it's ranked pretty highly. It's a great movie. I'm just surprised because why, though? Because it's a great movie. Huh. I, I I guess I'll let you get that off, but I don't think I can let that rock, man. Nah, that's up there. 
That, oh. is, that is a great movie. Especially that's definitely number one for holiday movies, undisputed. That that is number one pick for me. Okay. Third place for me. You gotta throw the classic in there. I'm in agreement with you. How the Grinch Stole Christmas has to go in that third spot. Of you gotta course. keep the classics in. I've watched that movie a lot growing up. I think we might have had it on DVD or maybe VHS growing up or whatever. Probably. Great movie. Great movie. It's a heater. I love it. Don't miss. Second place spot has to go to the Santa Claus. The Santa Claus. The Santa oh, you talk Claus. about uh, Tim Allen. The Tim Allen movie. That movie is fire. That movie. That's is another heat. movie I haven't watched in a long time, but I do remember liking it. You're I don't sleep. remember like the whole premise. Um, basically, he becomes Santa Claus. I think he accidentally killed Santa Claus. Dang. Yeah. Um, and then he becomes Santa Claus. And yeah. Hmm. And then the Santa Claus 2, he has to find a Mrs. Claus. I do vague. I think I remember Santa Claus 2 more than I remember Santa Claus. They both slap. They are both fantastic Christmas movies. I feel like people gloss over it. But it that's that's up there. I feel like that's kind of like a staple in the I don't see it get enough holiday respect. season movies. Huh. I don't see it get enough respect. No, I think that that's from what I've seen of holiday movies, that's 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 a holiday staple. I guess. Okay. But and, there's also a lot of holiday staples, so you know. Mm, there are, but not all of them deserve to be there. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. All right. And then my number one. Christmas movie spot. Christmas movie have to, has to have a couple of things to really make it in the top brass of Christmas movies, right? One, you got to be filled with Christmas spirit from the start of the movie all the way to the end of the movie. Okay. You got it's got to get you in that Christmas mood. You know I'm what I'm saying? That. I'm with that. Two, it has to have fire music. If it's a Christmas movie, it's got to get you in that Christmassy mood. And the best way to do that is through song. I don't think it has to have music. Potentially song and dance. I don't think it has to have music, but it is a plus. Mm, I think it's a... To to get that number one spot, necessity. Nah. Necessity. I think think the morals is like the main thing that takes the number one spot. I got to hear them jingles. There's got to be some type of jingle bell, some type of song, all that. I respect it. And I get it, but you ain't got to have it for a number one spot. You sleep. If it, if you do, that's that's the icing on top. You're absolutely sleep. Number three, if you want to be one of the greatest Christmas movies of all time, you got to have some heartbreak. You got to. There has to be a turn where you're like, damn, Christmas will not win. We're going to lose. That has to be there. Because, you know, there has to be some type of barrier aspect of, will we make it? Will Christmas prevail? Will everybody be happy at the end? I'm with that, yeah. And last but not least, if you want to be the greatest Christmas movie of all time, you have to have a train. The greatest Christmas movie of all time is the Polar Express, and that is no fucking debate. Yeah. That just smacks the entire movie through. Yeah. No, that's that's just about undebatable. That's a that's like the number one Christmas movie. It has everything you need in a Christmas movie. Yeah, I don't know how I forgot about it, but yeah, that's the number one Christmas movie. It's literally perfect. You got the magic, you got the train, you got the hot cocoa dance, you have the kooky train conductor, you got the homeless dude. Yeah. All man. of it. Yeah. Yeah, All of it. That's that's the number one Christmas movie. I feel like in just about everybody's mind, yeah, that's yeah. that's the movie they think of when they think of holiday season. It's Boom. the greatest Christmas movie of all time. That's what you watch on Christmas Eve, maybe even Christmas Eve, Eve, whatever. Uh, okay, I guess. You got to watch that. Fantastic. Yeah, no, nah, I, I got to watch Polar Express at least twice every Christmas season. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can, I can get on board with that. <laughs> now, on the board. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Another movie that I know my boy Ouchie's gonna kill me if I don't uh, mention is A Christmas Carol. Yeah, that's another like Christmas staple. I've never I seen feel it. Like. 
Never seen a Christmas Carol. That's one of those I've things yeah, I've seen where it. you don't have to see it to see it because you're going to see it everywhere else. Yeah. I can tell you the entire plot of A Christmas Carol from start to finish because I've seen it adapted. Every TV show is going to have a Christmas Carol episode where they get visited by the ghosts of Christmas, Pat, whatever. So you don't really need to see it. That's kind of one of those those uh, Cinderella story type things where everybody has it so you don't really need to see the original you've i've seen never the seen the original cinderella like if you've seen if you've seen the adaptations you've seen the original i've There's never no, seen the wizard of oz yeah like you, it's gonna get i've seen it ad, uh, adapted at least six times yeah never seen a, the wizard of oz i could see why people would put that as their number one because the story is great like i i have no for um, with for Christmas Carol? Yeah, man. Ghost of Christmas, future, past, present, all that is heat. Yeah. That's, that's a great premise. Yeah, it is. It is. So, uh, I I got no quarrels with somebody putting that in their number one spot. Yeah, fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. But I think Polar Express has got to be number one. It just has to. Yeah. Yeah. Hands down. I think those, those, those are pretty close, though. I think in the world's eye, they would put those very close. I think Polar Express is so high above every other Christmas movie. Like it's a big gap there. The Christmas Carol is pretty beloved, and nah, it's it's it. been adapted in so many different. That's how you know it's that beloved. Nah, but Polar Express is so iconic that you can't adapt it. You can't. Yeah, it's just too smack. You really couldn't. You couldn't adapt that. Yeah, you can't. You can't adapt it. It has too much that you can't copy. Yeah. You can't copy that hot cocoa dance. Yeah, come on now. Yeah, you really you can't copy that big ass train. You're not gonna copy that homeless man. Yeah, and, and crazy it's... thing about that movie is, um, fuck, why is his name escaping me? Ebenezer Scrooge. No, the actor who played in Tom Hanks. That movie, Tom Hanks played every character. Hmm. Yeah. The little boy, the conductor, Santa, the homeless man, all Tom Hanks. That's his acting skill. I mean, he he, he do he is gonna go down as one of the greatest. So I mean, hopefully they didn't have him do the little black girl because I feel like that I, would be would, a little racist. I would doubt it. I don't think so. I, I hope not. But a, a lot of the most of the characters, I, I doubt it. Tom I Hanks think, did. I don't think they would have done. Well, hmm. <laughs> I don't know. That maybe that movie came out in what like two thousand five. Yeah. So like, I'm like, that's possible. Yeah. It sounds like something they might do. It's possible. Yeah, but hopefully not. Hopefully Well, not. I wouldn't have known it was him, so he kind of bodied it in real love. Well, I hope it's not him. I will hope so. Because <laughs> that if would be is, fucked up. If it is him, I definitely didn't know. Nah, so. that would be fucked up. Kind of went that crazy. Would be fucked up. I, 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 all right, well. <laughs> thank y'all so much for watching. Let us know what y'all favorite Christmas movie is. Hopefully, it is Polar Express. And we will catch y'all. Oh, dang, Chris isn't here for the outro. You got to do his part. I bet. All right. Merry Posmas, and we will catch y'all tomorrow. We out. See y'all next time, ho, ho, homies. I think it was peace, ho, ho, homies. Peace, ho, ho, homies.